it's it's to be totally committed to persevering. And I think this experience is going to be so sort of monumental if I make it such that I won't be able to forget that lesson. All right, folks. So today's date is uh, July 3rd. And I'm really excited. Uh, so I'm, I'm planning to leave on July 8th. And I've gotten enough money to get the basics. Backpack, shoes, tent, uh, first aid kit, mattress, sleeping bag, maybe even a pair of pants, some, you know, stuff that breathes well, shirt. So yeah, so I'm really excited. Please still contribute if you can. Um, you can watch my previous video about why. So this is my pre, pre-departure video. Um, so I weigh 93 kilograms, which is, hey Siri, how many pounds is 93 kilograms? 93 kilograms is 205.03 pounds. Uh, cool. Thank you. Holy shit, I'm 200 pounds? Okay, well, whatever. So I'm 205 pounds. I don't think I'm going to bring my computer with me, which means I won't be making very exciting, sort of well-edited videos. Uh, but definitely follow me on, I don't know, Snapchat and Instagram. I got to make a Snapchat account. But follow me on Instagram so you can see... I'm, I'm so excited, dude. I'm, I'm going to be, you know, in a mountain completely lost. I'm going to be making a little video. Hopefully I'll have reception. Well, no, I won't. But uh, if I survive that night, then you'll see how difficult that night was. Uh, yeah, I'm reading Victor Frankl's Man's Search for Meaning. So right now I'm on page 107. Started that this week, so that's been a pretty quick read. Um... I'm going to do the shopping for all my supplies for the next couple of days. That doesn't matter to you. What, what do I want to tell you? Uh, I'm just really excited. Um, oh, so like, what do I expect from the trip? Um, I expect to figure out this skepticism problem. How do you believe in yourself while also being open to criticism? Where, where do you draw sort of the line where like, I'm no longer going to believe in this idea that I have or this aptitude that I have? Uh, that's really important. The other thing is that to learn meditation, quit smoking, replace smoking with meditation as a means to sort of calm myself and then also to concentrate. I don't know. I guess this video is really just to show you how excited I am. I mean, this is going to be this is going to be a one of a kind experience. Oh, also. So about a year ago, I'm on Apple support. I'm calling Apple support. Yo, bro, I got a problem on my phone. Okay. So they connect me to this guy in Portugal. And this young guy seemed about my age, just seemed like a cool guy. Uh, from New York, who's who's living in Portugal, and so we actually became friends, added uh, each other on Facebook, and um, anyway, so then I've been posting about my trip, and he sent me a message, um, basically, so he's going to join me, uh, so he, I don't think he wants to do really the hitchhiking portion of it, and also he's worried that nobody's going to pick up to um, two colored gentlemen uh, on the side of the road in Eastern Europe. But uh, we're going to go to, we're going to meet up in Croatia. So hopefully I can get there in time. And, uh, oh, I'm so excited, dude. Dude, I'm going to be, I'm just going to start walking from here. And, let me see. From here, I'm just going to, so here, this is you. And I'm just going to start walking down that street, heading east. And, oh boy, so we're excited about that. This, I don't know, I don't know whether you can hear it, but um, yeah, so, and, and who knows what's going to happen, and that's what's so beautiful. I don't know whether, uh, maybe nobody's going to pick me up, in which case it'll take 12 days without sleeping to get to Croatia. Um, and also, how am I going to make money on the way? You know, I mean, uh, I don't know how generous people will be, so I'm thinking about bringing stuff that I could, like, sell. Um... But, you know, that's just extra room in my backpack. And then maybe, so I was thinking about bringing some books that I don't want to, you know, have to move with anyway whenever I move. Um, so, uh, but that's, of course, that's a lot of weight. So I may have to just give those away for free. And you know what? More than, more than anything, you know what it is? I want to just be detached from society and figure out how I'm going to achieve what I am meant to achieve. And... I don't want there to be any moment because, you know, I've so let me get dark just for a second uh, since I was 18. 
you know, 17. I spent a good chunk. I've spent probably more than 50% of that time preferring not non-existence. And so I want to be totally struggling one night and remember that if I know my why, I can survive anyhow. Are those the words of Nietzsche that Frankl uses or are those the words of Frankl? Shit, hold on. Uh, I don't know. But, um, but Frankl talks about that a lot. About that if you, uh, he knows the why for his existence and will be able to bear almost any how. Now, a lot of my issues, they haven't been external. They've always been internal. Either that I don't quite fit with this society and this world, which is one reason I want to spend some time outside of it to sort of reflect uh, and come back in stronger. And then the other reason is that I just haven't been able to sort of achieve what I want to achieve, or that it takes a lot longer, and then there are months where I just don't achieve anything. Um, and then any time I sign up for school, I can't even make it through the semester without sort of failing out. This trip is about creating a total commitment to this idea that one, regardless of the naysayers, and then two, regardless of how difficult it is and how how underqualified I feel to handle life and get done what I am qualified to do, to do the things that I'm qualified for. Anyway, it's, it's to be totally committed to persevering. And that's, that's what this trip above all is going to test. I don't, I don't really so much care to see the world. Um, that's not true at all. I just said that because someone said, why don't you just ask for, you know, 30,000 so that you can you can go and just explore the world properly. I, I would love to see the world, but, but that just undermines the whole the whole struggle and the whole experience. Um, you know, I'm not, I'm not looking to fly from place to place. I'm looking to to struggle to get there, to have a meaningful journey there. And I absolutely there are things I want to see. And more important than that. They're absolutely conversations that I'm excited to have. You know, total strangers get real deep real quick in my ass if I hitchhike with the wrong people. Um, no, uh, get real deep. Uh, I can't stop thinking about about sexual assault now. Um, get real high level. Oh, that would be cool too, to smoke with some strangers. Oh, boy. Um... Anyway, to have some real great conversations, things with, with, with which I can learn. It's more about saying, world, bring it. I'm stronger this time. And, you know, and, and, and I think this experience is going to be so sort of monumental um, if I make it such that I won't be able to forget that lesson. You know, and so there will be a time when I'll be not getting up in the morning and I'll say, um, and I'll say, why am I even here? What am I even doing here? Because I'm not actually doing anything. So what's, what's my point? What's the point? And I'll remember what I fought for. And I'll remember what I achieved, basically being survival and getting to certain destinations, despite maybe what people told me I wouldn't be able to do and despite how difficult it was. And, and I'm expecting that to reinvigorate me um, and give me what I need to direct my energies or to have those energies um and where that sort of philosophical intellectual bullshit falls short there's a very practical thing of meditation which i've mentioned this video is far too long i'm very excited i don't want to put much effort into editing this so right now it's already like 10 minutes but hopefully i've cut it out okay oh yay okay great oh and one more thing so i told you what i'm excited about what am i worried about i'm worried about being robbed and losing, that's why I don't know about my computer. Um, it would be a great experience to be robbed, obviously, but it would also really suck. And it would mess up a lot of things. Uh, two, uh, I'm worried about, so I'm worried about being robbed, getting sick, and getting, um, like, bitten by something and, you know, whatever. Um, those would be, those would be sucky ways to, uh, to leave, especially on this trip that is all about recommitting to um, life and discovering some tools with which I can uh, live. Yeah, dude, I'm geeked. I'm geeked. All right, that's that's enough. There you go.